How's it going? Tonight we're going to talk about the Marvel Snap ranked ladder and what we know about how it works. Hopefully these tidbits will give you the edge as you work on your climb. Let's start with how you climb the ranked ladder. Something that doesn't seem to always be apparent to new folks that are coming in is those cubes that they are wagering inside of the games with the snaps and the retreats when they're looking to save them in a bad situation are what you directly use to climb the ranked ladder. Every 10 cubes you acquire or 10 cubes you spew moves you up or down one position on the ladder. There are no hard stop points where you can't fall back down other than rank 10 and rank 100. So at any point, if you climb all the way up to say 70 and you spew 100 cubes, you can fall all the way back down to 60. Rank seasons in Marvel Snap last the same duration as the season pass, meaning they last four or five weeks, depending on which pass that we are in. At the end of a ranked season, you drop 30 ranks down to the nearest floor. This means if you finish at rank 75, you'll fall back down to 40 at the start of the next season with the asterisk that you cannot fall back down below rank 10. So if you only achieve rank 30 or 35, you're going to fall back down to rank 10. As you begin your climb up the ladder, it's important to note that most all of your matches up until rank 20 are against computer AI opponents. This not only serves to onboard players gradually into playing Marvel Snap, it also serves to inject extra cubes into the ladder system. Unlike a lot of ranked ladders that award more MMR for wins than losses up until a certain point, cube exchange is neutral on the Marvel Snap ladder, so AIs adding cubes to the player's pools with slightly easier matches allows the system to do that. There are also extra cubes added every time a player hits a breakpoint on the Marvel Snap Ladder. So when you roll from rank 79 to 80, for example, you're actually pushed all the way through to rank 81, getting a little bit of extra cubes in the system that way. Past just the starter AIs at the beginning of the ladder, it's also possible to hit AI opponents at higher positions on the ladder if you hit play a game and there isn't a human readily available for you to queue into. There are some indicators that you're playing against an AI if they make an especially boneheaded play, such as playing a unit into a location like the Superflow that no reasonable human would do. That being said, they've done a pretty good job of disguising the bots and it can sometimes be difficult to tell still because humans are human and do make mistakes. The final thing to note about the Marvel Snap ranked ladder is that for a majority of it, in addition to having MMR or total cube-based matchmaking, there's also collection level based matchmaking at play. This means if you only have access to cards in the first card pool, you're largely going to play against humans and bots with similar collections. The same is true for being into the second card pool as well as the third. This means if you are collection level 500 plus, you should expect to be playing with players who have pool three cards readily available to them. Also worth noting this collection level based matchmaking starts to fall off a bit as you approach the very top end of the ladder, approaching the infinite rank that is the final at the top. If you're not familiar with what I mean by card pools, be sure to check out the link in this video description where I break down what those are and how they work. If you find yourself struggling in that second card pool as you transition into the third to find decks that are competitive, be sure to check out the starter series deck lists I have here that are all pool one and pool two only cards I think are competitive into fully powered decks with complete collections. At any rate, thanks for making it all the way through to the end of the video. Remember, if you enjoyed it, to tap that like button. Also, be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what other topics I should cover in Marvel Snap and break down here in the channel in shorter videos like this. Also, make sure you tap that subscribe button. We do deck highlights, small uh, coverings like this, as well as game news updates here several times per week. And you wouldn't want to miss anything. Hopefully, see you back again real soon.